If you've seen our video about Boondockers Welcome, you know that it's a unique way to camp legally on private property. Not only are there host members all over North America, but in many other countries as well. So of course, when we were planning our trip to Australia, we checked the map for hosts along our route. Sure enough, fellow RVers Doug and Di live in beautiful Woodgate Beach along the Queensland coast. We contacted them through Boondockers Welcome and were excited to find that they'd be in town during our visit. When we arrived, the warm welcome we've been feeling throughout Australia was magnified tenfold. This is a close-up of the sign that greeted us. Doug welcomed us as we pulled in, letting us know that family and friends would be camping here with us to celebrate the upcoming holiday weekend. This is the back of the welcome sign that greeted us, and this is how far we are from the ocean. The beach is absolutely magnificent. Doug and Di explore Australia in this beautiful motorhome, which is the second one they've converted themselves, and they also own an RV in the States. With almost everyone here being RVers, it's no surprise that we all felt at home in the RV garage. As more guests arrived for the holiday, we were welcomed like family. Well, thank you so much. We had a great place to park, including power. When Peter and Marie arrived in their custom Outback Ready four-wheel drive rig, we knew we'd be requesting a tour at some point. Doug filled us in on some of the requirements for getting licensed to drive a motorhome in Australia. So, so once it's over that, they've got to go and get a truck license. If it goes over a certain, another weight, then they've got to go to the next. There's a light, rigid license, like not a semi, but a, a light, rigid truck license. Then there's a heavy, rigid truck license. Then, in typical Aussie fashion, we headed off-road for a casual drive on the beach. After our drive, we headed across the street to join other family members taking a dip in the warm Pacific Ocean. Despite the fact that Doug and Di's relatives were visiting for a holiday celebration, they included us in all of their activities. Everyone really went out of their way to make us feel like part of the family. John and Doug's sister Myra seemed to have a special thing going. After watching the moon rise over the Pacific, we enjoyed an evening around the campfire. Heading out for a walk, we were momentarily startled by what appeared to be tall men staring at us from across the street, until we realized that we were getting our first glimpse of enormous eastern gray kangaroos. The next morning, Myra, Doug, and Di took us out to see the kangaroos mobs of which come out of adjacent Burham Coast National Park at dawn to feed in people's yards. The second largest marsupial after the red kangaroo, eastern gray males can be really huge, often standing well over six feet tall. They're also very muscular, kind of like a marsupial Arnold Schwarzenegger. They're capable of covering 25 feet in a single leap at speeds over 35 miles per hour. The cutest thing of all has got to be a joey in its mom's pouch. What a great way to travel. Once we were done checking out the ruse, we turned our attention to Peter and Marie's honkin' motorhome. Since this rig was built by Peter, it says so right on the bug deflector. Specially designed and used for remote desert travel, it's equipped with tons of clever features, including an ingenious system for keeping dust out of the toad, which Doug is going to show us. So the air intake is up on the roof, yep. up on top, yep. and it comes down in to this hose right here. Got it. And that connects with a sewer connection to the front of the toad. And you're saying he blows air through that so it pressurizes well, the car? The, the amount of air going into the, um, the air intake just pressurizes the car so that the pressure 
come in, out around all the seals in the car. So it keeps oh, the car okay. from getting full of dust out yeah. in the oh, outback. That's, yep. that's in brilliant. The outback. That's it. That's incredible. <laughs> and it seems so simple. I would have thought you were dumping your black tank into there. <laughs> that's right. The outback is so dusty that a blower pulls air through a filter and pressurizes the car's cabin to keep the dust out. Brilliant. Marie has graciously invited us inside for a tour. Andy, for when you're on. And this was, I said, this was two trucks. It was two American trucks um, that came over here doing some work at the desert or something. Seismic trucks, I think. Okay. So Peter bought the two of them at an auction, and it is part of both of them. Mm. Really? Yeah. So they basically pieced everything in Yeah. Them. Wow. Like, um, cut the chassis and put a big piece in the chassis to make it longer and wow. stuff like that. And then he had to um, convert it from left hand drive to right hand You're drive. To, and he did that himself? He did that himself. That's yeah. impressive. The only similarity to our motorhome is the exact same Pressure Pro tire monitoring system on the dash. It's hard to imagine how Peter created this rig from two different vehicles including converting it from left-hand drive himself. Well, thanks so much for letting us see your rig, Peter. It's, it's amazing. Very impressive. Different. With several road trips right around the corner, route planning was high on everyone's list. Having been welcomed like family during our stay, we felt right at home in a family portrait. Myra's granddaughter, Megan, is even grooming the family's next RVing generation. This is Matilda, and she's either going to be an RVer, or a lion tamer, or maybe a food critic. What are you eating? <laughs> After a fantastic visit, it's time for us to continue exploring Australia. Thanks so much to Doug, Di, and their entire family for making us feel so much at home. We look forward to connecting with you again on your upcoming trip to North America. We're grateful that Boondockers Welcome made it possible for us to meet such wonderful people in such a beautiful part of the world. And here's our very first glimpse of beautiful Whitehaven Beach, renowned for its almost pure silica sand and swirling blue water. Our pilot brought us down just off the beach. For the next couple of hours, this is our reality. The water temperature was perfect and crystal clear as a swimming pool. 